Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to an elephant educational with Bosi, who's not supposed to be part of it. Just over there. <laughs> so we're doing target training this afternoon with Benz, who is our new COVID refugee. This is her first time, second time, because she was here this morning. But as far as we can tell, this is her first day at target training. So we're going to see how she goes. Um, for those of you who don't know us or know it, target training is a positive reinforcement training method uh, used, mainly by, uh, used mainly by Western zoos. And the idea is that in an area where the mahout and the elephant don't go into the same space, it allows the zoos to operate on and to give medical treatment to the elephants. It is also... The reason we use it here is twofold. One, it's much, much safer for Dr. Miso, who's over there, you can see, if she has to operate on the elephant or do anything with the elephant to be between the, uh, to be, to have a wall between her, just in case, um, sometimes if you're at the doctor and someone gives you a jab, and you go, ow, but you're able to restrain yourself. Sometimes elephants don't do that. So it's easier for the, it's safer for Dr. Misa and for everybody if the elephant is in there. Also, it's good for, because it's positive reinforcement. In the old days, um, and in a lot of other places still, uh, places that uh, give, to, in order to get an elephant to accept medical treatment, they have to be held in one place with either chains or ropes or sharp pointy things. And this is all very much more relaxed. And as you can see, <laughs> she's been taught to beg. Um, as you can see, uh, this isn't medical treatment that's going on here. So the first step in target training is always to learn how to position the elephant, how to get her into position. So target means present your head, and you see she's supposed to move her head towards that target. Once she touches the target, she gets a handful of sunflower seeds, and that's her reward for doing the right thing. At the moment, because it's her second time, she might not necessarily understand she has to hit the target. And Nisa's very purposefully putting the target in a place that's easy to hit. Sometimes Nisa might even touch her with the target. And as soon as, but eventually, all elephants, but especially young, clever ones like this, get, the, get learn that moving their heads. First of all, the target is move your head to touch the target. They just say target. Oh, she's changed commands now. They learn that if they touch the target in one form or another, they get the sunflower seeds. Hey. Sometimes oh, not. it takes a while. <laughs> yeah, walk away. So this was the <laughs> command there was side, which is self-explanatory. It means move your side. Uh, oh, someone doesn't her, want to study. This is her second session of the day. So sometimes they, they get bored with this, uh, particularly <laughs> if they know oh, there's tasty, tasty food at the back of the, the area. And particularly if they know they're going to get fed as well. So yeah. it's a very, um, it's a fairly slow process, um, which is why some, some vets and everybody else prefer to use other, other ways of doing things. But this is, this is much more relaxing for the elephant. Yay. But yeah, in first um, few times, um, you might see elephant try to walk away. So Mahood will have to find ways to bring elephant back here yeah. and let them get more food rewards to yeah. let them feel like, um, I think, positive to exactly. be here. Right? Yeah. And so she doesn't yet know what it is she's doing. She knows that sometimes she gets fed, but she hasn't yet worked out that it's the touching the target that gets her fed. But eventually, with by repetition, uh, she'll work that out and then she'll start to move. There's always the... Uh, in these processes, there's a good. There's always the moment that the sort of um, I can't really, can't really describe it politely. The, the movement the, when the when you work out the elephant finally gets it when she steps into the when she steps into the target. At the moment, she doesn't know what she's supposed to be doing. She's mm. been taught begging, so she's making begging noises. Yeah, Ben used to work in as elephant show before, so kind of show show her perf uh, performance to gaze and then she get food. Those yeah. kind of thing. That's yeah. why you see yeah. her doing this thing now uh, the reason i have john today also because nisa, nisa just start with ben so we have want her to concentrate with training with new elephant if yeah. elephant never done it before and you talk elephant might just walk away but then if elephant know and understand what it is then she can stop and talk to us also because <laughs> yes there's that and also because the um it is it, even though there are there is a barrier in between it can be also be dangerous. The elephant can still grab you. If you're not paying attention, the elephant can grab your wrist and try and drag you in. So we don't know Ben's all that well. She's only been with us for a month or so now. And we've never tried this with her as we just, as we earlier said. So 
Nisa, you saw just then, um, Ben's, the elephant got confused. Again, she's turning towards Nisa. She's wondering what Nisa's doing there. If Nisa wasn't paying attention um, and was talking to us, for instance, she may end up being grabbed and being pulled into the, into the, the uh, or through the bars, which... Yeah. So with elephant, each elephant will take different time to, to learn. Some of them a couple days, some of them a few months. I think for Ben, it's going to be quick as she's very young. It tends to be that younger elephants are very, very quick at learning. Um, maybe a little bit more food motivated. And Ben's has been very, very hungry for a long time as well. <laughs> um, the only, yes, the only uh, confounding factor possibly that I can think of is the one you just mentioned that she's already been trained to beg for food. So this she's going to have to unlearn a few things to work out that just doing the squeaky thing does not get her food. Hmm. Yeah, the question from Kunbuk, in average, how long when Ben's will start to be re listened instruction? Do you don't know? That, I think there is no average. Um, I've seen uh, particularly young bulls, they can be trained in two or three sessions to, to to learn to, to, to present feet, and that's mm. that's the basic first step. Here, I think it's going to take a little bit longer because she's Good not. Girl. I don't know if you could see that from from where you are. She didn't step towards the uh, step towards the target. What Nisa decided to do was just touch her on the side and get her fed, which gets should get her to learn mm. that, that, that that contact is what brings the food. Uh, but it depends on the elephant. Rebecca, what time is it now? It's three a.m. Um, Rebecca says uh, um, Ben is so skinny. She is, and she has very long legs as well, which yeah. exacerbates it a bit, but yes, she's been... It took us, she was very skinny, one of the reasons we decided it was she was very skinny when we saw her in, must be early April, 2nd or 3rd of April. Yes. Because the meeting was April Fool's Day, I remember that. We were going to meet the government on April Fool's Day. Um, and she was so skinny, and then because of quarantine and COVID and lack of travel and travel bans, it took us a long while to, to get, her up, get her up here, so yes. Uh, but this is how, I mean, our elephants are, um, you see the begging going on as yeah. well. Yeah, look at her trunk, she tried to ask for food. And now she turns around to Nisa, as though, and she's asking for food from Nisa. And if mm. Nisa wasn't paying attention, she may get the wrist grab. So. <laughs> you mentioned she has a long leg, Kun Puk says her, uh, her career path may be a modelling. <laughs> yeah, well, then we, who, who knows, it may be. <laughs> the trunk in mouth, which is anthropomorphizing, but always makes it look as though she's trying to trying to think please whenever oh, whenever no? elephants do that oh you may okay i always think it looks as though they're, they're sort of mm, trying to trying to work something out no. but she's actually trying to work her way through the problem hopefully let's see but yeah for target training normally we have to um one is uh trainer dr nisa and sometimes we have pitao but also as a feeder we uh now right. pipi pong look at that can you see that one yeah <laughs> as we say yeah susan is glad to see positive behavior management being used and not punishment thank you yes we we work very hard on that and it's something that we've been doing i mean we we do it here but we've been having workshops prior to covid at least for the, the last uh, 10 years or so around asia which i've just been accused of not paying enough attention in because i don't actually know how to do the technique myself i can <laughs> I can uh, describe it very well, but yes, it's one of the one of the key prior to COVID. One of the key uh, one of our key projects is taking this technique and um, bringing it out around Asia and teaching it to elephant count managers and vets. We've been to where have we been? Laos, Myanmar, um, China. No, no, not China. We had some Chinese vets come down and learn it. Um, Indonesian vets have been. We've been to Cambodia. Me and Mel, we've been lots of times actually, and then several in Thailand, of course, yeah. as well. Next time, we will send director of elephants to learn how to do target training as well, so he can do other job as well. <laughs> and exactly, maybe can do some extra. Maybe. I reckon I could do it. I just have yeah, to be yeah. told where. It, funnily enough, it's one of the, the one of the jobs and one of the things that actually isn't maybe why this isn't working as fast as possible, is the feeder, uh, is a very very skilled job knowing where to stand. So the elephant isn't just following the bucket around, um, is, is one thing. Yeah, I think then, you need a right moment when elephant do this and listen to the uh, trainer and then you have to act straight away. Exactly. Timing is absolutely key. That's why one of the things, it's, 
Um, we, some people have said when, when, we, when we bring this to a tourist camp, they say, can we do this as a guest activity? And we, we don't recommend it as a guest activity. And Kumpong hasn't done it before either. Uh, and timing is absolutely key. So as soon as she does, she, as soon as she does the right behavior, or as soon as she does the right behavior, Nisa should give the command, and that means the food has to come immediately. Hmm. It's not easy, though, because uh, I remember when Dr. Herrado, um came here, I thought I could do it, but he's still like, quicker, quicker, quicker. Yep. I thought it's like, no way that I can do quicker than this, but when uh, both of them show up, it's like, oh, okay. So, yeah, I think tomorrow, um, Pitao will come back and then okay. help. Yep. We also try to train Mahouts, but with new elephant, probably yep. not really easy for... Uh, to do it. I think so, yeah. So yeah. The, the trick is to make sure, because if, for instance, if you get the timing wrong, um, she doesn't know what she's being rewarded for. Similar to if you get the timing wrong for... I think it's like help training, help um, from yeah. Dr. Andrew yeah, no, McLean. It's, it's, it's an extremely... Uh, they help users, uh, oh, rather than yeah. asking the elephant to walk towards something, they uh, they ask, they use a bit of... They, they prod more to push the elephant in the right direction. But, or an, but it's, it's exactly the same thing that you get in the end, you, you, you reward a behavior based on a stimulus such as the, whatever you're doing with the pole. Mm. And then eventually you don't need to use the pole because the elephant knows to uh, the elephant knows what's asked for it, asked of it and it knows a reward is coming. Mm. Um, a good um, question, kind of suggestion. I'm mm. um, wondering if um, let Ben see at the elephant do target training, would this help Ben to follow instruction? Can, can try, but I think... Yeah, it's, um, we, we did an elephant professional on eavesdropping about whether elephants would learn by watching other elephants. That was the one with the... Oh, learn right, about right. how to get the... Uh, and it... The, I, I, I think it might be, but I, um, I... In theory, because of how clever elephants are, you would think that that would work. Um, I've never seen any evidence that it does, unfortunately. We have had elephants stand by and watch. In, in the, much the same way as I've seen this process probably a thousand times and yet I wouldn't necessarily know exactly what to do as the um, exactly what to do as the feeder I think it's probably the other elephant she would see that she might be more relaxed because she would see that whatever is happening in this place is a good thing um, and that you end up getting food for it which she's kind of worked that out already um, yeah. but actually to the the real deep down which command we, means what and how ooh. <laughs> that was a step towards, you see. Now, whether that was the step... Yeah, that, very good. Whether that was on purpose or not, we don't know. But that, that's the first moment when you see them take sort of a slight step towards where we know the target is going to be. Yeah. And you see so what Nisa's doing now. And Nisa's, I can, uh, because I've seen it a thousand times, Nisa's actually rubbing the um, the, the target on, the ele on her up and down. And the feeder is just continuously feeding. So yeah. that she's made one step. She's done something very, very, very right. So she gets lots and lots of treats. Yeah. So very good, it means yeah. like very good. Yeah, exactly. So she get extra food from very good. And again, if we had a professional feeder, he would be going, to, he would be going quicker than that. So she'd be, it would be like a, a shot of ice cream. <laughs> really about ice cream. Oh, because we had ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> Is she going to... Uh, nice. so, Sometimes they are tricky. They don't move their, you know, yeah. themselves, like their body, but just um, their feet move a bit and well, exactly. change that's, position. That's the first, if, if the first, it's not a real step. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a non-step, but it's the first figurative step. She's worked out she has to do something for it. So she doesn't know yet whether it's the step or whether it's the, uh, whether she just has to wiggle a leg. Yeah, it's Sandra will say it's yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. And, she's moved, and eventually she'll work out. And, and what Nisa will then do once she once she gets to this stage is start moving the uh, moving the target an inch or so away. And so she actually has to move into the target. So it's a slow, slow <laughs> process. Um, it's even slower with an elephant that doesn't learn very well or isn't food motivated. Look at her her trunk. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what age is Ben? Ben is um, 15 years old. Yeah, she's still very young. Yeah. Is she the youngest now? Yes. She may well be, yeah. Yeah, Mina yeah. 16 at least. Definitely the youngest, you're right. Yeah. Me, yeah, same age with Mina. Oh, one year younger than I Mina? Mina must be 16 by now. She's been. <laughs> she's been 15 for a few <laughs> years now. She's been 15 for at least a year, so she must be 16. <laughs> Mm. 
But yeah, for training, um, usually we again mostly try to do in the morning time. Yes. Um, this morning, Nisa has done the training for Ben and and Phuong Pit. Yeah. yeah. So still try if for the new train elephant have yeah. to do it in the morning time. This is just to let you know, and she again has done it this morning. Yeah. That's why we are doing it. Yeah, exactly. It does, doesn't hurt to do it now, but yes, yeah. it's a bit like. Food, like all of us at, at, weather and yeah. at the end, end of the work day on a on a hot it's getting close towards the end of the work day she's really <laughs> wants to go and do her, not that she's been doing any work all day she's been hanging out in the electric fence with Pong Pet but Pong Pet is still around oh Somewhere. but she now yeah she was yeah she was behind that in those glasses okay um for elephants already conditioned to bake on a certain set of prompts, they have to unlearn this behavior and learn another set of cues. But elephant being super smart <laughs> can do this. Yes, yeah, sometime. Yeah. I think they will, but it takes time. Well, Some of them take a long time. The behaviors, they just have to realize that the, the begging behavior Not gonna help doesn't, <laughs> doesn't help in this situation. Yeah, she always like, I think we also sometimes have a few elephants would put their trunk in their mouth. I think Bo also do it. For what? <laughs> I, um, again, anthropomorphism, I, I think it means they're thinking. It looks as though to me they're thinking, but there's n absolutely no way we can tell that. It could just be Another way, research. Could, yes, it could just be a way of resting the trunk, is pinching it in their, into their mm -hmm. mouth, and then, because the, the trunk takes a lot of energy to run. So Rebecca, tomorrow please come to join us again at eight o'clock. Now I think you better go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it, um, two o'clock in two America. In <laughs> yeah, eight o'clock tomorrow. I definitely will be uh, non bands again, and we'll be target training, but in Thai. But again, if you have any question in English, tomorrow you can always ask um, us to. We will answer that. Build up with a bit more bins. We will, but slowly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you see? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, don't bother me. Yeah. But uh, the target stick itself, it doesn't hurt elephant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it has like little sponge on top. So it just can have like the feeling of touching but not gonna yeah. like you poke them to follow the command but one thing that uh andrew it's one of the one of the debates that andrew okay. mclean from the human elephant learning project says is he here's one of the things with target is she will also have been conditioned unfortunately through bits of her life before she came here about punishment and then and sticks can mean punishment as well so that's one of the one of the hurdles that elephants have to jump for, to learn target training is that this isn't a threatening stick mm is Andrew's theory and he knows a thing or two about behavior too. It's one of his worries about uh, introducing target training and not being a, or having it introduced by non-practitioners. Okay. I think she did such a good job. Like um, now it's about to 20 minutes. Yeah. I think, but she's getting a little bit fed up with us now. I think yeah, it may be yeah. time to let her go. And yeah, I think, there. yeah, if she cannot, uh, if she doesn't want to be here, we can let her go now. No, 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 no. Definitely no. Not. Okay. No, I think, I think <laughs> Don't bother her now. <laughs> that's a warning sign, is it? I think. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Yeah. So you see the side that now she doesn't want to do it anymore. She wants to eat, but she doesn't want to do the training. Exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe we don't need elephant, but we need you. We will interview you about <laughs> how is the training with Ben's going. Um, so from this, well, it's getting a little bit better. I think, well, she has a bit of a rest from the morning. So the morning session was, a lot of it was introduction to the target stick itself so she okay. understood what the target stick is but this afternoon she actually made a little bit progress with the side yep so there was a moment where she actually understood that she has to shift and put weight on the leg that we want um onto the stick yep. but she's not doing a big step I no mean, we saw that doing, she's doing small steps but not big steps yep. but it's, it's a positive sign right still it's a, it's a good sign that yeah. she's able to do it but okay. of course 
not a good sign if she's gonna grab your hands or your stick. No, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is so. a little bit of a, but maybe let's try a morning session and. Uh, yeah, I think it's we, hot as well. Exactly. That's why we weren't bothering you, and I was doing the, doing a bit of commentary rather than asking you for. <laughs> bye bye, Ben. She's like, bye. I have my own way to go. She's bye bye. The length of those front legs. <laughs> she's gonna be taller than you, but. Oh goodness that's me! My, yeah. that's bye bye. My theory at the moment. Yep. Hopefully, she can be as tall as Long Mai. Oh, that's very tall. No, my I still remember. So, what is your plan for tomorrow for her? Do you have any plan or next um step for her or still? So, if we can actually do repeats of the target training every day to make sure that she understood and maybe after a night's sleep she would probably have a big another big lead. Mm -hmm. So, for the Thai group tomorrow, you guys might actually see that she's actually able to sidestep. But I'm not gonna. You know, it, it's not promised. Some elephant can do it and yeah. some just not do it. So, <laughs> it's really hungry. Yeah, I think she's very hungry. <laughs> she walked, yeah, she walked to her spot to where um, her food uh, would be. Yeah. That's funny. Was, that's really funny. But, walk yeah. so, so quick that's, as well. Oh, she's been hungry for a long time. I think that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, that's also the thing that we've been noting with the behavior, even under uh, behind the electric fence, that she's actually have this sort of like mm. greediness, her food. greediness around her that she will always go after another elephant food even though she has her own pile she has been seen or videoed <laughs> that she actually pulls from another elephant and then put it on top of hers and then try to get as much as possible which is a common thing that you see with elephants that have been not eating yeah. well for the past who knows years so for Benz I think she has to come to a point where she under she has to understand or make the connection that you know we are not like her last place we are actually have all the food that will come every single day and yep. she can rest ashore and then we'll actually see that she starts to get pickier and pickier so Wait. the first thing that we saw with all of the uh, elephants that come here is that <laughs> the elephant would eat all of the grass stalk including the yep. really tough stick and then after a while they understood that oh i will have grass anyway so they'll only eat the leaf anyway so but for now we are actually seeing that she eats everything well she might be it's, a new it's da, kind of good for me like she was a new da <laughs> well it will probably watch and tell me not to make a new da i would love to see like how fast can you fat turn the nose yeah that yeah would be we will go thing, slowly with good. this one yeah. guys so now ben is um quite skinny we will let her <laughs> She's, you know get enough food good diet for her yeah. but we will not try to let her get fat because it's not easy to, to put her yeah, <laughs> say it to myself <laughs> it's not easy but her body condition score has been increasing so it was actually about maybe maybe from a five five point scale it was a two before really now she's actually do like two or two and a quarter two and a oh three. that's so pretty good in, in one month, month. So you can yeah, you can, can see tell. that okay because good. of the rib cage is now gone yeah so you don't really see them unless she's really yeah yeah really yep. far so which is good and yeah i think there's it. still some meat and muscles that is well for fat that is building up on the shoulder so you can actually see that she's going up yeah so that is good sign a week uh, to be 15 or 20 years, I will have to do a rescale all the elephants again to see their progress. So, if anything, then we'll come and we'll let you know what is it about. So, but yes, but thank you to you guys for coming in. Uh, today is actually a new day, so you guys might actually forget that we're actually on at 4 and not 5 p.m. as it was oh, the yes. previous week. So, that's why it's very, very hot. I think we picked 5 because it was going to be cool, but it become very highly mosquito quiet <laughs> no quiet oh, i think our audience oh, also don't know time you guys decide to ditch us because you guys have to go out and eat dinner at yeah, yeah, places yeah, yeah. now that some area in <laughs> bangkok have been open for restaurants really yes. yes wow so they go out for buffet and everything now but yes that's a topic for it but of course if you guys haven't already joined please join please join the run walk crawl for rangers the registration will be open until tomorrow at yes and Thai make Thai, yeah right? yes mm -hmm. Also, and please make sure you put the right date <laughs> <laughs> with yep. number of steps in Thai fit. And if you have any question, please let us know. You can send you message can to John us, to can. yeah. Mr. John, message, oh, message, uh, the page, even our Facebook page will be one of us will basically read it and then we'll talk to you guys about it. So there will be some more additional um, rules or not rules, but 
um, agreement that we would like you guys to agree <laughs> upon. <laughs> or, well, you will agree. Just, how, uh, how I to rules. Yeah. I think they are rules. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there has been, so if you guys have been uh, frustrated about being not able to upload photos or you see that we have rejected some of your results, it's because of the time, the time, how it is, how it is displayed. So everybody would get an email soon, maybe by today or by tomorrow, about how to register it into the system correctly. Okay? <laughs> yes. And you guys, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 a.m. Um, John will be behind the screen this time doing the answer. No, no, questions I, I, I will let him uh, explain <laughs> target training in Thai. Okay. So please oh come to speak to John in Thai. <laughs> <laughs> so it will, this will be good for Julia. Julia can practice Thai too. So yeah. She can correct me. <laughs> yep, but we'll see you guys tomorrow nice and bright and early. Yay. Yes. Thank and you. Thank you for coming, guys. Bye bye. Don't watch. Yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Oh, so you see? The time? We, we maybe I'll talk to you about the time later on. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.